Take a walk through the creative mind of one of world's premier surrealist artists. Where is Sherman? Have you seen him lately? I haven't. Where is he? He's at the new immersive exhibit dedicated to Salvador Dali. Just exploring. Well, the floor was moving there for a minute. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Here we are um, inside New Fields. Uh, the Loom featuring Dali Alive. So Salvador Dali wild artist, right? If you know that name. Well, this, the loom here takes his work and puts it into these huge projectors that you walk through. You sort of walk through this surrealist mind. Oh, absolutely. Of Dolly, yeah. right? Uh, Jonathan Berger who's joining us. Um, he's a de deputy director of communication and public affairs. There's a yeah. whole long list <laughs> yeah. of things that you do here, but uh, good morning. Good morning. This one uh, so you started with Van Gogh, mm -hmm. went to Monet, and now here we are. And here we are with Salvador Dali. And, and you know, I like what you said because when you walk in the loom, this really is like stepping into the mind of Salvador Dali and those surreal dreamscapes that he's so well known for. Yeah, he what Spanish artist. Yep. Mm -hmm. So give us a little background about, about him first. Uh, so it started off kind of as a traditional painter, and, and that's one of the things that I like about the loom is that it, it starts at the beginning of his career and then kind of moves into uh, that, those surreal dreamscapes that he's well known for, the melting clocks and the, the lobsters and the eggs and, and all, of these, you know, all of these things rattling around in his head. Yeah, he had this moment where you know, his stuff was really quite popular, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and he had some moments where people were like, I don't know, this is really kind of weird. But throughout his career, mm -hmm. um, he maintained a really very popular, steady uh, art uh, audience. Yeah, and I, I think part of that is is you know his personality became as big as his artwork. Yeah, the, it's the, big. The, the mustache, you yeah. know, his you know, and, and just how surreal he was as a person, you know, not just his paintings. Okay, tell us about the loom itself for those who don't know, because what are we looking at here? All these projections. So yeah, up here we uh, it is in our our entire fourth floor of the Indianapolis Museum of Art at Newfields. It is over 120 high-definition projectors, um, uh, over 30,000 square feet of projection space. So you really, uh, the, the magnitude of this space is amazing. And so these scenes, look at them. So the clocks are moving, mm -hmm. all of this, this projection and how this, wow. And it is literally from floor <laughs> to ceiling. Oh, this is kind of dizzy. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little dizzy looking at this. Uh, so, including with uh, included with this, so mm -hmm. you have uh, these these this really cool mm -hmm. walkthrough. Yeah, uh, but there's several other things involved with the whole exhibit. Absolutely, right? this is a fully immersive experience, and so when we come in, we want you to enjoy everything. Everything Dolly. We have a cafe that that has some empanadas uh, and a signature cocktail uh, from his cookbook. Dolly was also uh, wanted to be a chef. Yeah, we're gonna actually, I think, uh, get a little sip of that cocktail that you're talking about. The one that he that you have here mm -hmm. uh, that he that is created out of his cookbook. Okay, so it's Dolly Alive. It's opened out up this past weekend. Uh, runs into 2025, so you have plenty of time. However, it's very popular, and you might want to you know go online and start planning that if you want to come see it. We have a link at fox59.com to do just that. We got a little cocktail and another whole side of Dolly Alive that's coming up later.